All right, good morning. It is 8.50 Saturday, October 3rd. And I'm hiking the last portion of the 100 mile wilderness today. I uh, stayed at the last shelter in the wilderness last night. And I'm hiking all the way to the Katahdin Springs or Katahdin Stream Campground, which is where the last shelter on the north end of the AT is located, the Birch's Lean Twos. And uh, it's about a 13 mile hike. I started this morning about oh, just before 8. And it was three and a half miles from there to Abel Bridge. Uh, so I'll be going there first, taking a quick break, and uh, get some food from the camp store because I have almost nothing. Uh, this is my seventh day out in the wilderness. We had planned on finishing in six, but I guess six and plus three and a half miles is close enough. Uh, especially considering uh, how slowed down we, we were by the rain that came through a few days ago. The 68 inches of rain we got. Um, so we did, a group of us did 21 uh, two days ago, and then we did 20 yesterday. And just got a short, short little bit left to go here. Um, not staying at the Birches because uh, quite frankly, I'm tired of being cold, and I'm tired of being hungry. Uh, we are going to go into Millinocket and uh, stay at the Lodge, I think, which is a hostel there, and uh, it's supposed to be pretty nice. Everybody that stayed there has enjoyed their time. They do a free shuttle to and from Katahdin, uh, which is great, because then we don't have to try to hitch 20 miles. It's a long way, uh, and while we're there, we're gonna probably do some laundry and eat a bunch of food. I'm excited because today is the Georgia-Alabama football game. So for all you college football fans, Georgia-Bama, go dogs! Should be a, a good matchup. I'm excited to uh, to get to watch that, and then. The shuttle will come back to uh, the, the base of Katahdin, Mount Katahdin, tomorrow morning, where myself, Hoot, Yahoo, Zephyr, uh, and a few other people that we've been hiking with pretty steadily through the 100 mile wilderness, uh, and I'm sure a bunch of other people that, uh, that uh, may be in town tonight or taking a day off or something or get in get in behind us today will will also be there and we will be summiting Mount Katahdin and that'll be an end to this journey so it's been uh, an amazing experience and I'm uh, definitely excited to get home and put all these videos together for everybody and edit them all and so you can share in my experience as well um, nothing else really to report at this time. It's should be a pretty nice day today. Uh, I hope tomorrow is this nice. It's cold, but it's nice and clear. Sun's out and uh, not too cloudy. Not any clouds in the sky today. It was uh, low to mid 40s this morning when we got up. A little chilly. And I believe it's supposed to get into the low to mid 50s so and as a high today so keep that in mind if anybody's watching this that is thinking of hiking the trail uh, Maine in October is cold if you're planning to be here in Maine in October uh, make sure you have plenty of warm weather gear definitely have uh, some some kind of thermal top and bottom or sweatpants or something to keep you warm. Uh, have a good sleeping bag, 
I have a 32 degree bag and though it is rated at a 32 it it got pretty cold it was getting pretty cold uh, and I was waking up from the cold when it was dropping down into the the high 30s and low 40s so um, I would def definitely recommend if you have a 15 or 20 degree bag uh, and you're gonna be or definitely bring that with you if you're gonna be in Maine in October and uh, I, bought, I ended up buying a sleeping bag liner and that's been sufficient for the last the last week or so um, but uh, I wouldn't want to do that long term if I had to stay out in this for any longer period of time I definitely have a 15 or 20 degree bag but you'll probably have one of those anyway if you're starting in March or you should at least uh, so it's not that hard to get it sent back to you on the trail at some point um, yep nothing else really excited to be here at the end and finishing up it's been a long six months hard very 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 hard six months but uh, wouldn't wouldn't trade the experience for anything so I will be back I might might try to get some uh, some footage of a ball bridge when I when I get there it shouldn't be long all right good morning uh, still Saturday the third 920 uh, just come out of the woods here and walking across this road for a little bit and this is a ball bridge crosses the west branch of the Penobscot River and that is what I will be climbing tomorrow Mount Katahdin kind of obscured by the clouds on top but man this is a majestic mountain there's no doubt about it it is absolutely gorgeous the uh, clouds are kind of moving down looks like it's just got it cloaked it's like a, a glove for the mountaintop I'm sure it creates its own weather it's gorgeous though so uh, up here is a camp store a little bit farther I'm gonna keep walking and uh, get some food and then uh, I'm sure I'll be back in a little bit all right I'm in uh, Baxter State Park we just uh, had to ford this river Saturday the third still and uh, water's pretty high I ended up crossing on that uh, debris bridge back there but wasn't very successful uh, I got across but one leg went in uh, I met up with Magician. He uh, he caught up to us, which is awesome because we haven't seen him, or I, I haven't seen him since Tennessee. So it was really great to catch up with him. And uh, we're 4.3 miles from the base of Katahdin. Taking a quick break. Gonna go into town tonight, get some good food, and uh, get back out tomorrow for our summit.
still here in Baxter, uh, about a mile and a half from the Katahdin Stream campground. And uh, on the trail here, there's a little, little pond. Look at this trail, look how pristine this is. It's beautiful. Baxter is awesome. This is a really, really cool state park. It's uh, about 200,000 acres, and most of it is pristine wilderness. So if uh, anybody's ever looking for a park to go camp or go see some sites, I highly recommend this one. It is a bit out of the way in, up here in northern Maine, but man, it is, it's worth it. Incredible. Uh, all the rivers, the ponds, obviously the crown jewel, that is Mount Katahdin. But uh, even if you don't hike Katahdin, even if you just came out here and did some, some of these side trails, they're, they're really nice. They're well taken care of. Uh, the, the brush is cut back so you're not scraping your legs up. And there's some parts that are a little rocky and rooty, but for the most part, it's as smooth a hiking as I've seen on the trail in a long time. So, all right. All right, the day has arrived. Summoning Mount Katahdin. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning on Sunday, October 4th. Uh, it's really cold this morning. Thinking probably in the, the low to mid 40s. Definitely, definitely lower 40s, actually. This is one of the coldest mornings I think I've felt. I'm bundled up and uh, gonna try to hike into some warmth here. But it uh, should be an exciting day. And I will be back very shortly to, uh, to check in. All right, here I'm on top of Katahdin. Are climbing up it. Got uh, about 1,700 feet to go. Still below tree line, though not for long it looks like. And this is the view. Absolutely gorgeous. The trail itself is about as I expected. Pretty rocky. Very steep. I think there's a section where you have to do 1,600 feet over one mile, which is uh, pretty vertical. Uh, reminds me a lot of the whites. So if you've uh, done the whites or a section of it and are wondering what Katahdin's like, it's like that. <laughs> uh, it's 8.50. Uh, been at it for about an hour and 20 minutes now. And um, past halfway, so feeling like uh, probably get up there in under three hours. I'd like to be at the top by about 10 or so, maybe earlier, probably later. But uh, yeah, not a lot of use for trekking poles. I've been just holding on to mine mostly. I'm going to keep going here and uh, probably film some more when I uh, get above tree line. See ya. All right, climbing up to the top above tree line. Uh, about 1,300 feet or so from the summit, Baxter Peak which I believe is right up that way. I see people walking around up there, so uh, that might actually be the Tablelands, which is a, a, 
not flat, but pretty close to it, section, uh, basically a false summit right before you you actually walk the final few hundred feet to the top. So uh, feeling pretty good. My knee, left knee's hurting a little bit uh, just because it's very, very challenging. There's a lot of uh, climbing. Uh, going up's not even that bad, but coming back down is not going to be fun. Uh, I could not imagine trying to do this in like icy conditions. I would not want to do that at all. Uh, you know, or the rain for that matter. Man, it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. Right. Do another look around. See all these lakes. Uh, I know the the camera is not doing it justice. This is absolutely beautiful. It's hard to get scale too, especially with these action cameras, but that's about a thousand foot climb. Not quite a thousand, maybe maybe 800 feet right there in front of me. And uh, looks like it's gonna be more of the same, more uh, more climbing. This actually isn't even, even that bad right here. This is easy stuff. But uh, just having to put my, my foot up around like my stomach area and grab onto handholds in the rocks to pull myself up. So it's it's tough, no doubt about it. Very doable, but but uh, difficult. All right, be back soon. All right, I'm here at the Tablelands. It's uh, really windy up here. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but there's uh, Baxter Peak. That's where I'm headed. Not much, not much farther to go. I'm gonna go so I don't fall. All right, folks, here it is. Moment of truth, it's about 100 yards away. I'm gonna film all the way up. Walked here from Georgia, Georgia to Maine, on the AT, 2,189.2 miles. And man, is it gonna feel good to be done. That's mountain goat. Thank <laughs> you. 
man. Woo! We made it! Yeah, baby! Oh, let's see this thing. Oh, yeah! God. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. I am a through hiker. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at that. Oh my god. Hey, Malgo, will you take my pictures? No doubt, man. Yeah. What do you want me to use? Well, film me a little bit first. Okay. It's just running right now. Alright, here's my phone. This is I'm happy to take the photos of you guys too. Word, I've been up here for a long time. I've had a bunch of I got to do different poses on the sun. We're doing all sorts of shit. Behind me. Oh, yeah. Well, I know Zephyr is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Thanks. To get out of everybody's way here. Tag Katahdin Baxter Peak. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How's it feel, man? man. Amazing. Wow. Woo Yahoo! Go kiss that sucker. I'm gonna kiss him. Really 
sunny performance. How's it feel? Through hiker now. <laughs> Food. <laughs> I didn't think there would be any homeless people. They come and eat a Butterfinger. Here's this guy. Yeah, I've been living up here for the past like two hours now. <laughs> I don't know if this is like two hours. I don't know if your parents leave like an hour before. What? So you should have let your parents leave an hour before. You. Yeah, but the thing was, it's like we got to the parking lot and they took off, you know, and I was like, I just gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> He's turning his phone off, his podcast off. I kissed it. Everyone kisses it. You kiss it it's right not, now. It's not a now it would be a lie if we all said like we all took our junk out and rubbed our balls on it, man. You gotta do it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I mean even if we did, haha, uh -huh, you have balls on your balls. Oh man. <laughs> Touch that thing, man. Touch it. <laughs> Make sweet, sweet love to it, that for <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> One last look around before I go, go down. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, this is it. Yeah. <laughs>